22 years old. 34 years old. I'm 47 years of age. I grew up around the industry. Kind of grew up with it, my family. My grandfather was a crab fisherman. As a kid, I always wanted to be an astronaut, but I figured out I wasn't smart enough to be an astronaut, so I had, I had to figure something else out. What it took me to get this job was a, a lot of door pounding. My father being in the Coast Guard, it was just natural for me to get on boats as a high school student and then come out here to the Bering Sea. I've been fishing on the Bering Sea for basically three weeks. I've been fishing longer than some of these guys are even alive that, that work on boats. The most common misconception about fishing is that we're only here for a couple days. In fact, we're here for months at a time. I am currently single. I've been married for 22 years. I have a, uh, a son that's 14 and a half with my first wife, uh, my ex-wife. Well, the best part about my job is just how physical you have to be. Just seeing a full pot of king crab come aboard. The worst part of this job is the inability to rest. I've fallen down countless times. I can't even count how many times I've fallen down on the boat. I fractured my arm. I mean, I've seen guys with smashed fingers. The bones, they were compound fractures, so they were protruding out of his legs. The worst weather I've ever seen is 120 mile an hour winds. 60 foot seas, continuous with 100 foot rogue waves. And we took one and we rolled, and the boat didn't come back. And I knew it because I could feel it. Felt like we were rolling over. Enough time for me to think I need to jump into my survival suit. At one point, I was into water up to over my navel. And that's where it gets cold. There's so many superstitions out here, it's incredible. You don't sail on Friday. You don't use the number 13. You're not supposed to have anything upside down on your boat because that insinuates the boat turning over. Whistling in the wheelhouse will whistle up a storm. We knock on wood whenever we say something that's going good. No, I wouldn't encourage anybody to do this unless they really wanted to. 60, 70 percent of this is for monetary gain. It's getting monotonous. You know, you're out here with a lot of roughnecks. This is kind of a weird way of living. Everybody says, you're living the dream. I'm living for the dream, right? My dream's down the road. At this point in time in my life, I don't think I'd rather be doing anything else but fishing. Right now, would I rather be doing something else? Hell yeah! Look at it, it hit me in the face! 